For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says a particle moves along a straight line such that its acceleration is given by a is equal to 4 t squared minus 2 meters per second, where t is in seconds. When t is 0, the particle is at 2 to the left of the origin. And when t is at 2, it is 20 meters to the left of the origin. So this is telling us s of 0 is equal to minus 2 because it says to the left of the origin and s of 2 is equal to minus 20 this is important so I want you to find the position when t equals 4 so you know that the integral to find the velocity the integral of the acceleration is equal to the velocity so the integral with respect to time of the acceleration gives you the velocity which comes out to be 4t cubed over 3 I'm just integrating this part minus 2t plus a constant then you know that the integral of the velocity with respect to time is equal to the position so I'm going to integrate this whole thing now remember c is a constant so this comes out to be 4t to the 4 over 12, this is, minus t squared plus c times t plus another constant, let's call it d. So, you know that when s is equal to, when t is equal to 0, s is equal to negative 2. And this is the position. So you know that negative 2 is equal to 4 times 0 to the 4 over 12 minus 0 squared plus c times 0 plus d. So this becomes 0, this is 0, this is 0. So you know that d is equal to negative 2. So we already found d. Let's rewrite this then. 2. 4t to the 4 over 12 comes out to be t to the 4 over 3 minus t squared plus c times t minus 2 because we already found d. And you know that when the time is 2, s is negative 20. So again, we're going to plug in for the s right here. So you know that negative 20 is equal to t, no it's not t, because t we're replacing by 2, so it's 2 to the 4 over 3 minus 2 squared plus c times 2 minus 2. So when you solve for c, you're going to get that c is equal to negative 9.67, very odd number. So now that we got c, you know that the formula for the position is t to the 4 over 3 minus t squared minus 9.67t minus 2. So all you got to do is plug in 4 and replace it for t and you solve for the position and you're going to get that the position is equal to 28.65 meters. So basically what we did is, we have the acceleration with respect to time. We integrate it twice to find the formula for the position. The problem when we integrate it twice is that we get two constants. And we found the two constants with the initial conditions given in the problem. And that's how we found the formula for S with respect to time. Then we just plug in the 4 and we found the final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.